In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Sony QX100 camera lens for smartphones. The procedure is probably identical for the QX10, um, so maybe not quite exactly the same, but uh, it should be a very similar procedure. So please watch to find out how it's done. They've added shutter priority for the update, and they've also added 1080p video recording. So I'm just going to show you basically what the camera is capable of. So here's the near field contact tag on the camera and if we tap that against the phone it should switch the camera on and start the app. Now the camera lights come on. And here comes the app. It's connecting to the camera as you can see. and it's connected and as you can see it's all doing what it should be so I'm just going to briefly take you through I'm just going to briefly take you through the facilities that we have here so the modes currently are intelligent auto superior auto which is like a, an HDR mode program auto and aperture priority I hope you can see that's alright yes you can um, and the video mode here is uh, somewhere less than 1080p. It's in between 1080p and 720p. And as you can see, this is the December version of the app, which is actually quite good. It's, it's very good uh, in terms of its connection time. I haven't had any dropped connections and the, uh, the response from the Wi-Fi through the camera is actually very quick, much quicker than any of the GoPro apps I've used. I'm now going to uh, install the firmware upgrade and we'll have a look at the difference. So for a firmware upgrade, you need to go to the, uh, as of the 31st of January, you need to go to the sonyasia.com uh, slash support slash product slash dsc-qx100, as you can see here on the computer screen. This isn't available in the UK yet, but um, as you can see, the firmware upgrade version 2 has been released on the Sony Asia Pacific website. So let's go to the download page for that. So improvements after firmware upgrade. Uh, ISO setting added. Movie recording changed from 1440 by 1080 to 1920 by 1080 and shutter priority added. So that's excellent. That gives us a much, uh, much more improved camera and possibly even a higher speed of operation as well. Let's download the upgrader. That's here. I have agreed with the terms and conditions. You have to tick that first. And we'll download the upgrader. Here it comes, we'll save the file. Right, so now I need to run the executable. Right, first it says connect the camera and the computer. Turn it on first, okay. So we turn it on. And connect it via USB. Excuse the dishwasher noises in the background. Click the next button when the connection has been made. So now it says it's verifying the connection of the camera and computer for this update. So first we connected the camera and the computer and then up comes the uh, current version of the firmware, version 1, and after update here it says it'll be version 2. I hope you can see that alright. Click the next button. And it says reset the camera. So, safely remove the hardware by clicking the safely remove hardware icon. Keep the USB cable connected when doing so. Press the shutter button, on, shutter button on the camera and then click the next button. So, we'll go to eject DSC QX100, that's what it says. Press the shutter button and click the next button. So now it's making sure everything's okay. Ah, here we go. So that has reset the camera. Do not unplug the cable, that would be a very bad thing to do. And click the run button. So there we go, I've clicked the run button and it says updating here. 
It's running the update. And you can now see the progress indicator slowly working its way across the screen here. Always have your heart in your mouth on these occasions in case something goes wrong and you brick your device, but uh, this should work fine. Right, as you can see the update's nearly finished now, but it's taken nearly five minutes to do. So uh, don't panic if it's taking a long time, that's normal. And hopefully it will say it's completed successfully. Okay, so the camera's just disconnected and reconnected again. And we're told to click the finish button. The update process has been completed, it says here. So I click the finish button. And hopefully now when I connect the camera, it will have the shutter priority mode and the full HD video. Let's just uh, get the camera set up on the phone again and we'll show you that. Now here's the important part, you need to see how these work with the new firmware and what the differences are. So first we connect the near field contact tags together and that's switched on the play memories and the camera instantly and it will very quickly show the camera connected. It's just starting the app and it's connecting, it's found the device. And it says connected on the screen there. And here comes the preview straight away of our messy kitchen. So as you can see, that's all working fine. Now, options. Uh, there's a whole list of tools here. They're pretty much the same as we had before, but where we have the difference is on this list here. So instead of um, just having program aperture and the two auto modes, we've now got shutter priority as well. So in movie mode now, we should have um, full 1080p movie. So I'm just going to disconnect now. We have our shutter priority mode and obviously the camera is upgraded.